Hello everybody, welcome once again to the Sena TV Web English Show. Today your subject will be very interesting and adventurous. Passion is the word that characterizes this subject. Fans, families and friends gather every weekend in front of ATV to watch it. It is sometimes the only subject that unites a whole nation towards the same aim. It is full of passion and sometimes it is full of hate. Ladies and gentlemen, get prepared to watch a TV show with different angles and activities regarding sports. Welcome. Hi everyone, welcome to our English tip for today. This lesson is part of the National Learning Service SENA Bilingual Programs and it is made just for you. Today you'll learn a little bit more about sports. Sports are all forms of competitive physical activity, which through casual or organized participation aim to use, maintain or improve physical fitness and provide entertainment to participants. The most popular sports in the world are soccer, basketball, baseball, tennis, volleyball, golf and of course football. However, there are many other sports that also play an important role around the world. For example, wrestling is lucha libre, chest significa ajedrez, fencing es esgrima, surfing significa surfear, mountain biking es ciclismo de montaña, bowling es bolos, figure skating es patinaje artístico, ice hockey significa hockey sobre hielo, race walking es carrera a pie, car racing es carrera automovilística, Weightlifting significa alzar pesas. Equestrianism es equitación. Esto también se conoce como riding or horseback riding. Stay tuned to TV Web Sena so you can continue to learn more English with us. Bye everyone. Thank you, Philip. Hey, it is a beautiful and sunny day. Don't you want to go out with me and shoot some hoops? Hoy, capítulo 9, Bilingüismo Inglés. Nowadays, gyms are not just places where you can go and do some workout. Some gyms in Colombia have become big sports centers with a wide range of services for their clients, including events like the one a big fitness center organized in Bogota that won a Guinness World Record. Do you want to know why they won this? Andres Vélez, the planning and project manager of this fitness center, will tell you how and what they had to do to accomplish this ambitious goal. And also, all of the services that you can find at a gym that go far beyond just doing exercise and sweating, burning calories. Our main interest is to offer solutions to our members in each of the three clusters sports, health, and beauty. In Colombia, we estimate a total potential market of nearly seven million people. These are the people that do exercise and have the income to pay a private membership like ours. Bodytech has nearly 100,000 members in Colombia, which tell us that although we are the market leaders, we still have an immense potential to bring wellness to all the people. We have uh, members since they are 15 years old and people with 70 years old. In health, we are offering a full line of vitamins and nutritional supplements. In beauty, we have our own spa that's called Renova. Here, people find professional and pleasant option to look and feel more beautiful. In sports, we want to generate communities with marathons and sports like swimming. The record with most people static cycling, without a doubt, was the event of the year for our company. It was a very special day where over a thousand people were cycling for more than three hours to the beat of the music. We are always thinking about new things. Right now, we have nutrition, we have our therapist, and we have all our medical crew that's always offering the best of them to our club members to achieve their objectives. The tendency right now is to do functional training. If you see in all of our clubs, there are some 
rings, like boxing rings. This will give them a high beat and that will make a, a cardio effect that's gonna make them burn calories really fast. If you wanna live better, the best thing to do is to have a healthy diet and do exercise. If you wanna start doing exercise, the best, thi the, the best thing that I can recommend is to let you see by a doctor. He's gonna give you the parameters to do the best workout possible for the objective that you have. Although people want to look better every day, feel well and be better in any sports, people train with us because of the support we give them. Not only because we have the best machines or the best brand in fitness industry in Latin America, it's because of the people our trainers, our doctors, and all of our crew are always looking forward to offer the best service possible to our club members. We will be right back after this short break with more information about the new tendencies in sport and a coach who is training a Colombian woman for the 2012 London Olympics. This is Sena TV Web in English. Don't move. Do you know what to work out means? To work out means to practice, exercise or train in order to become pro-efficient in an athletic sport or just to become fit and be healthy. Workout significa ejercitarse. For example, she works out at the gym every day because she wants to lose weight. Have you ever thought about what it will feel like competing at the Olympics? Can you imagine how many hours of practice you must endure to classify? This is something that Paula Medina knows very well. She's a table tennis player who represented Colombia in the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games, and she will compete again at the London Olympics. Paula, with her coach, John Jairo Cruz, will tell us what it feels like to participate in the Olympics and what routine they must follow in order to do the best job possible at this magnificent world event. I work for the Colombian Table Tennis Federation. At the moment, I am the national table tennis selector and currently I'm the person in charge for the preparation of player Paula Medina, who is going to the 2012 London Olympic Games. The case of player Medina has been a process. She has been in her sports career between 13 or 14 years and I have always been around her process. I play ping pong for 16 years. I decided to play ping pong for, because I want to play a individual sport. So I try table tennis, I don't try any more sports. We are working six hours a day, the morning session and the evening, and that's the job. Three hours in each training session. That depends on what we determine we need to improve and we work on that double session. We arrive, we do some warm-up, we stretch, we do some basic strokes and then we do some table training. That's pretty much what a workday consists of. From the international participations we have had and from the exchanges we've had with players and some sparing, we make a work plan. We improve according to statistics we check and then we plan around that. We have a constant feedback with the player, with Paula, or with some of the players, to determine the objectives of training sessions, to have a clear objective and to speak the same language. There have been important challenges in my career. The last one was to qualify for the Olympics. We have big expectations for 2012 Olympics. We want to be among the top 16 or the top eight in the planet. We have worked for that. We acknowledge that the other players also work hard to achieve that goal. However, the last results we've gotten make us think that we are going to have successful participation and that we are at the same level that the best athletes in the world. In Beijing, my experience was very nice. This is uh, my biggest for my life, I think. But I was so nervous in the match. So in my first match, or many people, I play with Chinese players. So it was difficult for my nervous, nothing more. I think uh, this year, I think it's better, better because four years, 
for training, for play, matches, tournaments. So I think I will be better. My expectation for 2012 for London is do the, my best because four, four years ago I lost in the first round. So I want to win one or two matches. If I can win more, it's very good. The recommendation for people or for young people is to take playing sports as a career. I think that hard work, discipline, respect, humility will give good results and beautiful moments like classifying to a world tournament or to the Olympic Games and be among the best in the world. I think if you want to be the big player in table tennis, you need to consistent to practice every day. But for me, the most important is enjoy what you do in your life. My biggest satisfaction in table tennis is the qualification for Olympics. I have two Olympics now in 60 years, so I think it's very good, very nice. Also, I am championship for in Colombia, so this is nice. Nowadays, people are trying really hard to be fit and feel good about themselves. In the middle of this fitness revolution, we find Pilates, a body conditioning routine that helps build flexibility and strengthens every muscle of your body. However, Pilates is not the only training technique that people practice. TRX is a new fitness approach that is gaining followers all around the world. Andres Arango, a certified TRX instructor, will tell us a little bit more about these types of training and the excellent results you can get if you follow these disciplines. So grab your sweatpants and start burning some calories with our following segment. Pilates is a very good exercise that lengthens the muscles, it stretches your core, it works the internal muscles, uh, it relieves anxiety, stress, uh, so it's a very complete exercise or workout per se uh, for people to do it. You know, uh, it brings your sizes down and uh, you relieve a lot, a lot of stress. That's why a lot of people do Pilates nowadays. Pilates is more like a form of uh, being in health and uh, being conscious about your body and uh, being in shape. Pilates has become so popular all around the world because uh, it brings a lot of benefits to your health, to your energy, uh, to, your o to your overall system. You tone your muscles, uh, you reduce your waistline, um, you stretch, you uh, relieve pains and you uh, strengthen muscles to prevent those pains and to prevent soreness. Like in the back pain, Pilates is also very popular because it is used as, uh, you know, therapeutic because a lot of doctors recommend Pilates for people that have back pain, that have lower back pain, or that have stress. When you do Pilates, the most important thing, there, there, are, very, there are many important things for, uh, for, a peep, for a person that practices Pilates that he has to have in mind. The breathing is one of them, uh, concentration is the other one, uh, being aware of the muscle group that you're working is also very important, uh, also the speed at which you do the exercise also comes very handy when you do Pilates. You have to have and check all those elements for you to have a good class and to be injury free. There's basically two ways to do Pilates. We have Pilates on the mat, which you need only a mat, and maybe a, a ball that's called a physio ball or a Swiss ball. Uh, the, the, more, the, the other Pilates that, that is practiced is Pilates on the reformer, which is the machine that was created by Joseph Pilates 50 years ago. Uh, that's a little bit more complex when you're practicing the reformers you get a better workout, you get better results, you get, you feel more the, the, the exercise. I recommend people to do Pilates at, three, at least three times a week. Obviously, the more you do it, the better the results and the faster the results.
The good thing about Pilates is that it has no discrimination. The gap age is tremendous. TRX is training resistance exercise, that's what the letters stand for. Uh, basically, you're doing exercise with your own body weight, using a pair of straps, and uh, those pair of straps create uh, a lot of instability, so your whole core works. It's very good because you can incorporate two and three muscles at the same time. In TRX, the, the principles, or in any workout you do, the principles are good breathing, good posture, uh, Check, check in the form where you perform the exercises. TRX is a little bit harder because you involve all of, all of your body weight. So it can be a more demanding exercise. It could be more challenging, but basically in TRX we work the same principles. We work flexibility, uh, we work coordination, we work breathing, and we work with your own body weight to create resistance. That's why the TRX is so good and it uh, gives very good results. The biggest reward is when you see, when I see my clients that are happy and I see my clients that they're getting results. We'll be right back after this short break with one of the best triathletes we have in Colombia, here at the Sena TV Web English Show. Stay tuned. Do you know what a coach does? A coach trains an athlete or a team of athletes. Their goal is to maximize each player's performance on the field. Coach significa entrenador. For example, the basketball coach is given all instructions to his team on how to win the championship game. Federico Pardo has almost 200 medals and trophies. He has traveled around the globe, participating in the best and hardest competitions that exist regarding running, biking, and swimming. The short time of just two hours and five minutes earned him the first place in the Nautica New York City Triathlon in 2010, where 5,000 people were participating. Do you want to know how this man always gets to be in the top places in every marathon he runs? Pay attention to all of the tips and recommendations he has for all of you interested in crossing the finish line. I started six years ago doing uh, the New York City Marathon. After that, I, I was looking for another achievement, another goal. So I start training for a triathlon. The triathlon is a combination of three sports. It starts with the swimming, then biking, all cycling, and then running. The Ironman, it's, uh, it's all about 3.8 kilometers of swimming. Then uh, you have to do the 180 kilometers of biking or cycling. And then there's the marathon distance. The marathon distance is about 42.2 uh, kilometers of running. Training for an Ironman is very hard. You have to wake up very early in the morning. You know, this is a hobby for me. Uh, it's not my full job to be uh, an athlete. So I have to wake up at 4.30 in the morning. It depends if it's running or biking, but almost you have to train every day like six to seven hours each day for the 365 days of the year. Last year I qualified for the Hawaiian Championship, it was the World Championship of Ironman. I did a 125th place out of 2,000 athletes. Last year, I did the Marathon de Sable. It's a take a second in Morocco, in the Sahara Desert. It is 250 kilometers of running during uh, for six stages. And it takes uh, almost 28 hours to complete the, this event. We start with uh, 21 kilometers, then goes up like 
38 kilometers. The third day it will be 38 kilometers. The fourth day it's a 100 kilometer race. Then it uh, goes back to 42 kilometers, a, a marathon distance. And the last day it's, a, it's the easiest one. It's a just a 17 kilometers race. The Marathon de Sable is the toughest race on, on earth because of the, its conditions. It comes from four degrees during the night. It's very, very cold. It's a desert and goes up until 52 degrees Celsius in, during the day. The organization, they, they will not give you any food. So you have to bring all your food. So that's a weight you have to carry for the whole time of the six stages. Also the sand, it's a, it's very, very sticky and it makes uh, some blisters on your on your foot on, on your feet. I was the only Colombian on, on the race. I did the uh, 23rd uh, place out of 990 competitors. Uh, these are the best competitors in the world. They run in every marathon. And this was my first uh, time I'm, I was running uh, on sand. To prepare for a marathon, you have to start six months earlier. Uh, you have to first uh, get uh, all the strength for the muscles. So a lot of lift weighting. And I do it two days uh, in a week. Then. There are series of training that it will be uh, fast training or long distance training. Uh, it depends. For the food, I consider that uh, you have to eat very well, not junk food, uh, not, no sodas, no packing food, just uh, regular food, uh, salad, a lot of protein, carbs, uh, water instead of soda. Also a little bit of more salt on your food because uh, this will keep the water in, in, in your body and you will use, you have to use it in, during the race. Also consider your, your clothes, run with your shoes, you don't buy uh, some pair of shoes before the race or the shirt, you have to use all your items before the race. So it doesn't hurt, doesn't have a blister before the race. Three days before the race, you must eat well. A lot of carbs. Uh, carbs must be in uh, pasta, a lot of pasta. If you don't like pasta, you can have rice. Uh, but you have to have the fuel for your muscles. Also to rest, you have to be very relaxed for the race. Also to think very positive. Before the race, it's very important to stretch your muscles so you don't get an injury. You need uh, five to 10 minutes warm up. Also, at the end of the training, you need a cool down. It's very important to, to do the massages once a week, a massage. Also, the cool water, the cold water will help you to relax your muscles. Running, it's a, it's a hobby for me. It's a passion, it motivates my life. You have to be passionate of what you do. Not, all, not only in sports, in everything you do. If you think you can do it, you can cross the finish line. And that's what motivates me. Well, my friends, we have reached the end of our show. I hope you have enjoyed and learned new things about sports. Remember, this is Sena TV Web in English. See you soon. I have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>